Good morning and welcome back to our channel. This week we are off to a little town. Again, it's on the Veer, so if you saw last week's, we're continuing our journey along the river. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you there. So today we have just arrived at Torini Suvia. <laughs> I had to practice that like four <laughs> times. It's really hard for me to say for some reason. Torini Severe. Torini Severe. We're in a town. <laughs> but a town look. Look at this waterfall. Well, it's not a waterfall, fountain. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful day. There's lots to see. We might even get coffee. Exciting times. <laughs> so as usual, we've got our facts. We'll show you all around and see what we can find. Don't forget to subscribe. And let's get exploring. the facts last night with Matt and I said wow look there's the wall I was talking about no idea Woo. so this place Torini Severe is where one of the princes of Monaco was born in I'm not sure which century it was Jacques the first of Monaco he was born here and lived here for quite a while with his wife this big wall was part of the castle that they built to live in it's the only remaining part of the castle left because the rest of it got destroyed during World War II. This wall is three meters thick, 15 meters tall, and 300 meters long. Big wall. And we've just found a sign as well to say that they've just done reconstruction work on it that cost over 300,000 euros. And it's just a bit of a wooden support down the way. So we'll go and have a look further down. Crazy. When I'm walking on a breeze, I got no enemies, I just do what I please, yes sir. I ain't got no things, no money, no means, just a wind in the wings, yes sir. I got my feet on a cloud and I won't come down. So we're in this little concaved bit and it says, we found a little notice board, it says that this was built to in the 18th century. So the Jacques the First was Prince of Monaco from 1731 to 1733. I remembered that, um, and it served as a setting for celebrations. And there was a big marble table here, which has now been replaced by this granite one. There's also loads of pigeons in these little holes. Matt's taken a couple of pictures, so you have to check out our Instagram. I got my feet on a cloud and I won't come down I saw the eyes of the maker, heard a rushing sound Caught up in the wheel, going round and round Spun like gold from the shining ground I got my feet on a cloud and I won't come down is the chateau where Jacques the First's family lived, um, the Prince of Monaco that we mentioned earlier. And this was built in the 16th century originally, but it all got knocked down during the French Revolution. So it all got rebuilt later in the 18th century. It's now the Hotel de Ville, the town hall, and all of the local government offices are all in there now. It's quite big, isn't it? It is, it's huge. They also do exhibitions and things here showing like local history and art and photography and all sorts. So it's worth checking out their um, their website and seeing what sort of things they've got on at the time. I 
got thick skin Because I've been burned before I got baggage That you don't know of Learn the hard way Not to trust anyone I'm not letting Anyone get too close I'm a wild one I'm alright, love on my own You probably think I'm hurting Me. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Introducing <laughs> Jess. <laughs> so I've got another fact about Jacques the First of Monaco because he was born here, but it's not to do with this place. So he was abdicated the throne of Monaco in 1733 because he never spent any time there. He spent all of his time in Paris and Versailles, and oh, his house in Paris was named after him. He was one of the Matagon family. It's probably not pronounced like that at all. And it's now called Hotel Matagon, which is where the French Prime Minister lives. Mm, interesting fact. It's a link to this place, but it's not about this place. <laughs> we'll continue our little exploring. We are hopefully trying to find coffee and lunch on the way. <laughs> so let's see if we can find our way there. It's only quarter to 12. It's coffee time. Before we carry on with our bit of exploring, we found a play park. Woo! And there's no kids in it. So I feel like we have to do the most adult thing ever, which is try the swing. <laughs> but seriously though, this play park, I'll see if I can turn around. <laughs> Huge. And there's like, there's a skate park, there's a pitch and park. That's the one, crazy golf. There's even like a little area with sheep. What more could you want? So we're going to go and um, go and test for vlogging most. We test so you don't have to. That's what we do. For ages two to twelve. has to be by far the greatest play park we've ever been to. Not only is there swings, there's sheep, but even more impressively, there's a bar. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so we've had, we've had our little um, our lunch and we've had a little play in the play area. As you can probably hear, <laughs> we've gained a new member of the family. So this, oh, come here. this, this is Archie. <laughs> and he's a bit excited. He's a bit excited. He's coming for a walk with us. So we're just outside um, <laughs> Turini, Turini Severe. Severe. Um, we're just oh, next yeah, to the River on. Veer. So we're going for a little walk along the Veer. There is a kayak canoe place. It's about two kilometers each way. So we thought we'd have a walk down there. And see what we can see. So um, we're going to try and take some nature. Uh, you might remember last week we went to Roches de Ham, which is actually just at the other end of this this sort of like walkway. Um, I'll put a link to the video up here. Check it out. Um, so yeah, there's some birds I can see right up in the top there. So I've got my camera. Check out our Instagram. And let's see what we can find.
of nowhere on our walk. We're just coming up to the kayak place. But we found a metal statue of a dragonfly lady. Nothing around that says what it's about. There's a sign over there. Oh, there's a sign over there. We'll go and investigate. So the dragonfly man person thing is part of a, what did you read about it? Um, it's part of a sculpture trail. Um, if you look back over our videos, back to... <laughs> it was... I can't remember. No. We went to the Abbey in Ceresee La Forêt. We'll, we'll tag it, but I can't remember. Put a link up here to the video. Um, but basically it was a lake that was surrounded by structures that had been made by students, yeah. architecture students and art students. This is a similar sort of thing that's made just by general artists. So this one here was made by um, a guy from Cuba. So there, it does say there are more, but we haven't seen any yet. But this, uh... It's also the same as when we went to the Devil's Cave. Was it, yeah, the Devil's Cave. There was the statue of the man. That's all part of the same. The same. Part of the same trail. So yeah, we'll see if we can find some more on the way. Yeah. Okay, so that was a really, really nice walk ending in the um, kayak centre. Um, yeah. Really nice centre as well. They do kayaking, climbing, cycling, cycling. Archery. Yeah, it looked really interesting. They were closed. I don't think they opened till April time, but it looked quite interesting. If you're in the area, maybe check it out. Nice little picnic area by the river. By the Ecluse. By the Ecluse. The lock. <laughs> um, we got some really nice photos as well. Some wildlife pictures and things. So check out our Instagram across the bottom as usual. Um, and that is probably where we're going to leave our video. We're just about back at the car now for this week. So thank you once again for watching. Um, Archie says thank you. <laughs> He's run on ahead. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up for the video. Let us know we're doing a good job. Um, don't forget to um, ring the little bell. Notify you when we're doing our next video, which will be next Friday. So until then.